Amanda Winkler, uh, another one of our recipients. Amanda is uh, elementary special ed cohort, mm -hmm. and I'm going to let her just pick it up from there. Okay, um, so I'm in the elementary special ed cohort here at PSU, and so I started um, this previous summer taking classes, and I did my first practicum last term, and I did that at Wrigler Elementary in a learning center. And I actually just started my second practicum two days ago. And I'm in a BC room at Woodlawn, which is a class for 11 children who are on the spectrum. So it's going to be a different experience, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, I started getting into special ed when I was uh, doing my associate's degree at PCC, and I started taking sign language classes. And then I applied for their sign language interpreting program. So I did that for a year, and then I decided, you know, I don't think interpreting is right for me. Like, I don't, I don't think that I want to just be the person, you know, saying what this person is saying to this person. I want to work with people. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll go into deaf studies, or I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So um, after I got my associates, I started, I came to PSU, and I got a job working with a deaf blind woman mm -hmm. who had CP at a day program for adults with disabilities. So. I worked with her for two years while I was getting my bachelor's degree here at PSU. And although I was her one-on-one, -on -one, I worked with a variety of individuals as well. We did a lot of community organization and um, just, she taught a sign language class at a senior center down the street and she actually was a guest speaker in a special ed class here at PSU and mm -hmm. so we did a lot of fun things and a, a lot of different outreach um, and develop, developing um, relationships within the day program as well. So I, I learned to lear, uh, work with a lot of different types of people um, and I thought, you know, I think that I wanted to do the Kiwanis Camp for my senior capstone. And I went to Kiwanis Camp for two weeks and I had an amazing experience and I thought, okay, this is what I want to do. I think I want to do special ed. So. Um, I applied for the program, and I'm just doing the one-year program here, and um, so far I've learned a lot. <laughs> uh, I've learned so much about IEPs and assessments, and um, you know, I, need, I have so much more to learn, of course, um, and just working in the classroom has, is really what is beneficial to me, like what I can take what I'm learning at PSU that I think that I understand, you know, and then I can practice it and and try it out. So it's been a really great experience so far, um, and I'm definitely interested in um, like RTI and school-wide PBIS. And some of my teachers are very into that as well, and they've kind of sparked a passion inside of a lot of the cohort um, for this. And I, I am interested in um, kind of combining those two things inside of a school and being in like part of um, inclusion and mainstreaming. So it's been pretty neat working at the um, learning center because all the kids um, were in the general ed and just came out for support. And that's also how it is in the BC room that I'm working in. So it's very interesting to see how this works and um, it, I just think that it's really great um, and eth like it's part of my ethics so um, I'm interested in that and uh, for like my volunteer work that I've done I've volunteered mainly with um, deaf in individuals so I volunteered at Washington School for the Deaf I also volunteered at Chestnut Lane, which is an old folks home for deaf um, and blind adults. And um, I also have volunteered in a preschool for hard of hearing and deaf children. So right now I'm doing special ed, and I think that I want to work in any, any avenue, maybe in a learning center, maybe in um, even a life skills type classroom. I'm really interested in all the different areas and I think that in the future I might want to go back and get an endorsement for teaching mm -hmm. deaf individuals with disabilities. So I think uh, that's a plan for me. Um, I also am very interested in autism and I'm thinking about you know, going back and just continuing my education. So when I do get a job, I just want to keep continuing my education and um, 
and I never want to stop learning. So anyway, thank you guys so much for the scholarship, and um, it's really helped me out. Um, I've uh, put myself through school, so um, it was just definitely, uh, I'm very grateful for the gift. Amanda, thank you. Yeah. Thank you.